Howdy. How are you doing? So in this video, I just felt inclined to uh, release the messages from your spirit guides. I always talk about your spirit guides, ancestors, and all that in my normal general and love readings. And I figured why not just start doing some spirit guide messages as well for the zodiac sign. So, hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Libra. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your spirit guide messages, urgent spirit guide messages. Libra, I also do your weekly for your general and your you versus them reading, uh, which I'll leave a link to both of them over here for you to check out at a later point, Libra, if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Libra. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate, Libra, and leave what doesn't because I promise you, I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. And if you find some cards that resonate with you, Libra, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below. Let me know which card resonates with you and how it resonates with you, because that's how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments. And then as well, Libra, I would like to ask for you to give this video a like and subscribe if you do find some cards that are, that are of resonance, because it does help out my channel a lot, Libra. And always, I'm super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me. And finally, Libra, before we get into this reading, remember that this is your life to live, right? I'm not here to live your life for you. I'm not here to make a decision for you in your life. Uh, make the decisions that resonate with you. Take the cards that resonate. This reading's here just to give you some food for thought and something to consider as you go throughout your week. So with all that being said, let's get into your uh, messages, Libra. <laughs> Don't mind me, Libra. I'm just getting back into the swing of re recording after a few days of not. So let's get into this libra we have i pulled three uh general card general cards for you to get an overall idea of the messages coming forward to you libra and we'll start out with the animal oracle card which is number 18 the deer deer spirit which would equal to nine for numerology so write that down libra the deer spirit says bring a gentle touch so what are we bringing a gentle touch to libra i feel like this gets into um, the tarot side of things, I pulled a couple of tarot cards, and I feel like this could be in one of two ways, Libra. Now, obviously, you would know if this is pertaining more so to yourself being more kind to yourself, Queen of Rings or Queen of Pentacles, right? Is this a situation, Libra, where you are being a little bit too harsh on yourself? Maybe you are perhaps setting the standard a little bit too high for yourself. And maybe if you don't meet that standard, there's this level of disappointment, right? Maybe there's just this level of pressure, Libra, of trying to reach a certain point in your self-sustainment, right? Maybe you are putting a little bit more pressure on yourself, Libra, of wanting to, um, you feel as if you should have accomplished more by now, or you're just wanting to already be at a place of abundance where you're not really having fear of anything in your life, right? Or this could be in the narrative, Libra, of your Page of Swords, where the Page of Swords is the representation of communication. Now, Libra, this could be easily, I can get this in a sense of where if you, mm, I get the sense, Libra, that there's something that you are kind of making a little bit more difficult in your life than it needs to be necessary. And what I mean by this is that it feels as if with this Page of Swords, Page of Swords, when, especially when it comes to tarot and trying to um, get an idea of other energies around you, Libra, the Page of Swords would be normally the representation of being like, okay, someone's keeping their eye on you, someone's wanting to communicate with you. And so how I would be seeing this with that in alignment with the deer spirit and in that queen of rings that we have going on here, I kind of get this feeling, Libra, that there's something that you kind of are keeping at a distance, keeping at bay for whatever reason that is, ace of swords, right? Yeah, I feel like there's just some things in your life, Libra, that you really are considering. It really is dealing with the matters of the mind here, where it's just like something that you either would want to do for yourself or some type of communication with somebody that is trying to come in. And there's just this sense of maybe being a little bit too overcritical of it, a sense of being too protective of your own energy and feeling as if um, the world's out to get you almost, perhaps, Libra. We have the Ace of Wands coming in. So Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, 
you've had this pairing for a few times, Libra, where it's, <laughs> you've had the, I'm pretty sure this dynamic as well, Ace of Swords and Ace of Wands. Uh, I always see this from a tarot perspective of like a forward affirmation to doing something, uh, usually Libra. So yeah, there just feels like this sense of hesitation towards something, right? Um, temperance card is the back of the deck energy. <sighs> yeah, Libra, there feels like you're like standing at the doorway of an opportunity, whether it's in the, comes in the shape of a person trying to communicate with you, which I do feel like it's heavily in regards to communication, um, regardless of what it is. And it's like, you're kind of avoiding that communication, even though you want it in your head. Um, there's like this sense of where you're stopping yourself. And so when you have it with a gentle touch, is it because you're, are you stopping yourself, Weaver, because, um, you feel like you might mess this up or you feel as if um the situate like the situations outside of you are just going to naturally mess up right maybe you don't want to go forward with communication just because like you probably might have like some distrustful energy i don't know libra very interesting energies um let's start pulling some more cards though let's get into a little bit more tarot side of things let's see what we have let's see what libra should be looking out for let's see what I mean, I feel like those general messages right off the bat, Libra, kind of <laughs> tell you what to um, put a little bit more focus on, right? A little bit more focus on just opening up a little bit more. So, yes, I pulled three tarot cards for you, Libra, and we'll pull clarifiers with these as in a way that I seem necessary. But the three tarot cards that I pulled for what it is that you should be looking out for right now, Libra. We have the star card. So really beautiful. This is a card where it is that wish fulfillment card, Libra. Um, this is the second card that's come in in regards to like balancing out emotions, right? With that back of the deck energy from before with that temperance card. And the temperance card is also like managing cups and um, filling up and taking away liquid from the cups to balance out the emotions. Um, so Libra, what I'm getting with this star card of what you need to be looking out for, uh, there is like the sense of, again, where, I, how I described where it's like, you're standing at the door of an opportunity and there's this hesitation, there's this pause, um, two of pentacles comes in where it's like chaos, right? Maybe there's this sign of in order to like, go like, Maybe there's this hesitation, Libra, of where it's like, or this pause in action for you to attain this star moment for your life uh, because of the chaos in your life right now. So it's kind of hard for you to manage, perhaps. Or maybe it's just a representation of you, the further that you go into your star moment, whatever, or whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, Libra, there's this sense of, um, like... A lot more gets piled onto your plate the more that you lean into this right so it's a little bit chaotic in your life right now the strength card does come in of where this is probably like the final stretch the challenge libra for you to be really be wary of i would say i feel as if if libra if you've been experiencing a lot of difficulty in your recent past because i don't i do feel like this is something that's more recent for you libra i feel like this is more so like a in real time sort of thing. I don't feel like this uh, row right here is really foretelling anything, Libra, but more so letting you know of like what it is that you're going to experience while you're on that path, right? It's kind of like being like, okay, if you take the yellow brick road, you're going to run into X, Y, and Z. And I feel like, yeah, this is like the X, Y, and Z, where it's just like, the further you lean into this, the more chaotic it is. But you kind of have to think of it this way, Libra. Think of it in the sense of... Um, more chaotic the more of like this two pentacles moment happen like is like occurs in your life i kind of see this as like a sign that you're really getting close to like the uh i mean maybe it doesn't sound like the best example but like the breaking point where it's just finally like things finally releasing like coming to like this cleansing moment i feel where it's just like things finally just start uh really taking hold and really start uh manifesting in your life for that wish fulfillment i feel as if like the more chaos that you see in your life it's just like a positive sign of being like okay like you're just you're just really close of course it's going to get really difficult in this last stretch but you kind of just have to like work it out right 
I don't know. I see it as a positive thing, at least Libra. So let's start getting some... We'll do this card. Let's see here. Oh, three of them came out. No, two of them. Apparently, I can't count Libra. We have the five of rings as well as the four of rings. Interesting. So the five of rings does talk about insecurity and this sense of needing to take a pause, right? With this five of rings, this is the sense of probably where the state that you're probably at right now, Libra, I am going to be honest because this is like the middle energy here before I pull clarifiers. Um, I do feel like you've been in this place, um, especially with that two of pentacles, where it's kind of like put this pause in your life where you, you know, you deal with some chaos or you deal with some hectic and then like you take that pause to really come to terms with things, which isn't a bad thing, Libra. I really don't want it to seem as if I'm chastising you because with this four of rings, this lets me know that you're seeing this as like, you're not getting stuck, right, Libra? And that's a really positive thing. It's, it's like, wow, you take that moment's break during this, like you acknowledge that you have to keep going, right? Um, so I do appreciate that, Libra. The only thing I do want to say is like, because you know as i was saying where it's just like the further that you lean into your star moment libra the more the two pentacles comes in where it's just more prevalent in your life where it's basically what i'm saying is you can't really escape that chaos right um so if you end up feeling the need to just take a break each time as an extended pause each time that you deal with some chaos i mean honey it's, it seems like it's going to be at a point where you're dealing like you're going to need to take a break every single day right which isn't a, or every single time that you attempt at going further into your star moment, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, Libra. But here's the thing. I just feel as if, um, you know, at some point you kind of have to get used to it and like, <laughs> maybe that sounds so dismissive, but I don't mean that, Libra, but it's more so just because like, again, like you're going to be dealing with it a lot as you get closer to your goal. And there is this level of challenging your own strength um, and coming digging deep within to really um persevere through this right i do feel like this is kind of like that final stretch of a challenge i keep on saying like that final stretch for you libra because i really do feel like um things are going to go quicker for you really soon but you can't if you ha keep having to take that pause chariot card that chariot's not really going to get too much ground before it has to pause again right so it's really more so libra what i'm trying to get at is utilize this energy while you have it right if you keep on while this energy is here um that's really seemingly going in your favor take advantage of it rather than having the the constant time of feeling like you need to pause each time it's not me trying to guilt you into not having a moment's break right but always take that pause with the acknowledgement that you're trying to continue going forward you know view it as a water break right rather than being like okay let's set up camp here because again with the clarifiers that i pulled the star card under the star card honey like this is really your time libra right and the star card is just such a, a affirmation of a card that you're, you're one on your right path absolutely and two like you're really really close i feel like again i keep saying final stretch libra i really do feel like things are so close to you. you just gotta um keep that mind in check knight of swords coming in here um i really do feel like this is like that wishy-washy energy not to say that you're wishy-washy libra but again it's more of like the one day or maybe a couple days you're super motivated libra towards because i feel like you kind of get the sense as well libra i feel like these star cards kind of don't take you by surprise it's kind of like a pleasant like oh, okay yeah you you're not shocked that they came here because i feel like you're already kind of getting an idea like things working out in your favor, like the ball rolling in your favor a little bit more right ace of cups comes in really just like such beautiful cards of things um like your cup just filling over things just really manifesting so beautifully for you libra so really beautiful spread the only thing i would say yeah again is just to be aware of when you feel like you need to take that break right do you feel like you just need to take that break out of habit just because like when you when you deal with some chaos you just associate needing to just like take a pause right you know just you know keep your keep your mental health and your emotional well-being in check right but also um, be willing to push yourself a little bit. Be willing to be a little bit uncomfortable. 
right? So, I mean, already that row is such a good row of a reading, Libra, but let's see what um, blessings that we can look forward to for you, Libra. Mm -hmm. So I pulled three tarot cards starting this out again, Libra. We have the Four of Wands, right? So this is the 1111 card. This is the card of where it's in the bag, honey, right? You just kind of have to walk through that portal, right? The 1111 portal. Um, so this is, if those star cards weren't affirmation enough, Libra, this Four of Wands really comes in to hone in on it. Page of Wands comes in as well of where, you know, that's the theme here. We had a lot of Ace of Swords, Libra, and we had a lot of, a lot of Ace of Swords. We had Ace of Swords. We had a lot of Aces. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, um, and then Pages. Page of Swords and Page of Wands. So a lot, like, really emphasizing new beginnings, um, new passions, new things to sink your thoughts and energy into, definitely, because that is the theme here. Not really cups, which is, I mean, the cups come in from your major arcana, truly, Libra, but like all the like actual basic suits it seems to be just swords and wands, which is a really good thing. Um, really passionate energy, really really an inspired time for you, Libra. Uh, then the Two of Swords comes in as well. Guarded energy, again, but I feel like that's not really a surprise. There is like this sense of almost resistance, perhaps, towards going, like, leaning into this new uh, independence, right? Leaning into like this new beginning of sorts. Maybe it's just a little bit intimidating. It's almost like you're staring at that 1111 for, um, portal with that four of wands and you're just like, uh, I don't know, right? Maybe it's like the sense of like the unknown that intimidates you, perhaps, Libra. Let's see. Uh, the clarifiers that I pulled for this, Libra, is the eight of wands, the nine of wands, and the moon card. Okay, yeah, Libra, here's the thing. Like, you really want this um, wish fulfillment, right? Whatever that four of wands, whatever that star moment is for you. But there does seem to be this fear of the um, what happens after, right? There does seem to be this fear of wondering as if you would be able to upkeep it or be able to um, maintain the standard, right? Because with this moon card coming in here, this lets me know why you have that two of swords energy, Libra, where you're, there's, you're guarded, there's a sense of where it's just like, you don't want to like open up to this. And I feel like it's because of the nine of wands, eight of wands, where it's like, not that you necessarily doubt yourself. I mean, I guess this is kind of like what it is telling me, Libra. There is like this level of doubt where you're like feeling as if you're truly ready, um, to handle this new beginning because it is such new territory for you it is such a heavy new beginning for you libra it can just seem extremely overwhelming and knowing how to maneuver through it and so when you think about it libra if you fe have this fear of uh feeling as if you want to be able to maneuver through it not only do you feel like there not only is there just this resistance overall towards the energy of opening up to it naturally right with that two of swords you're just remaining guarded but it also tells me a level where you feel like you don't deserve this, right? And so it's like almost you have to keep this in mind, Libra, as you continue on. It's like each time that you take that break, um, you know, I mean, again, I really don't want to like hone in and like stress you out, Libra, and tell you not to take a break if you feel like you need one. But I just feel like there's just some stuff that we need to like keep like keep a mental check of yourself, keep your ego in check, Libra, and I feel like everything's just really going to flow so beautifully for you. Um, three of rings in the middle of this energy, three of pentacles, yeah. Such a beautiful time, especially in terms of career uh, and your finances, but really overall what it is that you're trying to just create, right? Whatever that wish fulfillment star moment is for you. Um, three of pentacles does involve other energies as well, collaborative energies, but... Yeah, you. if you feel like you're alone in this journey, Libra, you're absolutely not. It may feel like it right now, but I really do see once you walk through that door of opportunity, once you walk through that 11-11 Four of Wands portal, I feel like you're going to not only realize you're not alone, but realize you're perfectly capable of handling this. So yeah, Libra, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope this was of resonance in some type of way. If it was, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time, Libra, I love you so much. Bye.